In 1973, UCLA won the national championship, the final of seven straight titles under John Wooden. The team held a reunion to look back at that memorable season 50 years ago, including a record-setting win streak and a dominant championship game performance. Our Jill Painter Lopez has more. When you think about the 72-73 team, what comes to mind first? The enormous pressure that this team uh, was under. The expectations were real high. I mean, real high. It was a pressure if you let it be a pressure. But we, we never thought about it. I mean, we just played the games. If your purpose, if your mission and the goal is to win, then we achieved that. But Coach Wooden, he never talked about winning and losing. You guys set with that win over Notre Dame, the longest winning streak. What do you remember about that time in terms of uh, how big of a deal that was. You know, as much as Coach Wooden uh, didn't play it up, you know, the whole world was playing it up. And, you know, it was hard not to realize the significance of it. It was an added incentive, you know, uh, not that we needed it, because we we're playing Notre Dame, our arch rival at the time, and we we're playing them in, in South Bend. But I think it, it definitely added a little punch to it. You know, we ended up going 30 and 0 that year and really didn't, if you look at the games, there weren't, there weren't that many close games. I mean, we won, we won our, our winning margin is 21 points over the course of the year. When you think about the final game against Memphis State, uh, Bill Walton's heroics in that one, 44 points and 21 of 22, you know, your thoughts on what he did in that game? Well, it was just like watching an aerial show. I mean, he was just all over the place and you know, they didn't seem to adjust. We won it handily and easily, but they never adjusted their defense. So we just kept going to Bill over and over and over again. The one shot that he missed, he got the offensive rebound and scored anyway. So he never had a possession uh, where he got the ball where he didn't score. So he, I mean, he was perfect in that way, but you know, he did miss one. <laughs> you had mentioned that Coach Wooden never let you forget the missed shot, joking around about that. He was not a man of handing out praise. And he was a, a man of action. He was always about what was next. But after the championships, he would come around and pat you on your shoulder or rub your head a little bit and say, nice job, way to go. And we went through all the guys and then I was over in the corner, shy as can be with my horrific speech impediment, a lifelong stutterer. And he, he, he looked at me and he said, Walton, I thought you were a good player until you missed that one shot. What's it like seeing all these guys? You're forever bonded when, when you get together. It's great. We relive a lot of memories. When Nader came from Seattle, Washington, Gary Franklin from Colorado, Pete Turkovich from Indiana, Larry Farmer from Chicago, I mean, that's pretty good. UCLA, John Wooden, my teammates, my classmates, this community, that's who's made me who I am. Well, Walton's 44 points is still a championship game record. And get this, he had four baskets disallowed due to the no dunking rule. So it might be unbreakable. Uh, no one has scored even 35 points since 1989.